Well, this is interesting. Greetings and salutations, everyone. This is Symphony of War, the, Nef the Nephilim Saga. This is one of those indie games that I catch wind of and decide to give it a little try out through a Let's Try project. It apparently has some inspiration from uh, Fire Emblem games, but not enough to be just one of those uh, tactical RPG maker games. Maybe. Although, you know, all things said, and, uh, when all things are said, I don't know very much about the game. It very well, actually, well may be made in that uh, engine. Anyhow, new game. Uh, still has the full game without the risk of defeat. Enemies are well balanced. Several key levels can be moderately challenged. No permadeath. Enemy HP and attack power is increased only for experienced players. I'm not... I don't know enough about the game to be confident enough to go into Warlord or to have permadeath. Yeah, let's start the game. Of course I know that the slight problem at the start is... Oh. Mouse following sprite, why not? If I arrived at a very opportune time, you'll find. Let me look into your heart. Will your journey be marked by virtue, or will you be an adversary? Oh, I guess this is a test of personality to figure out what stats you should have. You must give up your most valuable possession. What is it? I think in this situation we need to hang on to our wealth. Oh, rather, we don't need wealth. What will you consider a life well lived? I did it all my way. I'd like to think that being kind is the most uh, logical choice to make in leading people. What should a tr what most fireworks? What most important trait should a leader have? Ability to unite people, uh, love for the people, the power to command respect and fear. Well, I feel like the top one probably. Getting people to get along is a lot better than just liking everyone. And now choose a form. We've already had female shares, so let's alternate with male Devoa. What an intriguing soul. Go, I will see you here again when the time is right. Sure, whatever. Nine, Armitage, year 972, capital city, empire of Viridia. It looks a bit RPG Maker-ish, but not entirely. I, they at least are using unique assets. By the gods, the child survived. And the father? Perished, fighting for the nobles, just like most of the young in this town. The mother prepared names for this. This one shall be named Devoa. May he live to see a better world. Hmm. Maybe they weren't expecting you to go for female Devoa. 25 years, alright. Oh, this is very Fire Emblem. Nine, 997, or 997, the world of Tanra. Tanra? In this year of our age, three realms rule the land. Oh, three realms again? The desert kingdom of Sayuna, whose wealth earned it the title of Kingdom of Gold. 
the technologically advanced Free Republic of Sandraka, and the hegemonic Empire of Viridia, world's military and economic superpower, where our story begins. One generation ago, multiple bids for the Viridian Imperial Throne plunged the land into war, the War of Viridian Succession. The long and bloody war ended with the coronation of Empress Florina. However, it left deep scars in the people's hearts, as resentment against the excesses of the ruling class to the boiling point. Common people who had lost so much were forced to endure increasing hardships as the empire sought to rebuild. 25 years after the succession war, a man named Antares kidnapped the Empress and formed his own army in an act of open rebellion. Really? We've already just we've, we've already established that people don't like wars and you're gonna start another one. He now controls a territory in the forest known as the East Wall District. Driven by what he believes to be undue hardships by central government, he threatens to sack the Imperial capital if his demands are not met. You already have the Empress, what more could you want? The ambitious Prime Minister called the General's bluff and decided to take military action. He called for a force to be sent to the stronghold at Eastwall Fortress. Two young and promising Imperial Army officers, Devoa and his longtime friend Zelos, were prepared to meet General Antares in battle. Little heard they, could they know how much their adventure would change the course of history. Well, that sounds problematic. Imperial Army Encampment, East Wall Province. Let us greatly raise a glass to my friend Devoa! Bet you all thought he wouldn't make it this far, now ready to lead his first squad into battle, but I knew better. On this celebrating mood. There's a lot on the line. The Empress's life is in our hands. I'm not worried. Doubt these guys could keep up with you. <sighs> Boy, we've already seen what happens when you think you're better than you are. It helps having a one man army in our midst. I'm just man. We've got the gods on our side. I'm going to trust my soldiers, not some idea. Don't tell me you believe in those fairy tales now. Don't underestimate the power of ideas. Look how this empire is starting to forget the ideas that build it. With a proper leader, people would again feel part of something. There wouldn't be generals going rogue. We've come a long way since the academy, but now we face the real thing. Come on, Devoa, let's brush up a bit. Alright, tutorial mission. It's like a game of chess. You command the squad of groups of soldiers known as squads. Each squad will have a leader. You appear as blue. The enemy team appears in red. Uh, we don't often see that uh, color scheme inverted. Time to engage in combat. First, move your squad next to me. Select your squad. Select the scar next to my squad on the map to move. Right, now time to attack. Choose the attack option, target me. Careful, defenders will counter attack if they can. This isn't exactly fair. I'm one soldier with one sword. You're going to command a whole army someday. You have to think of yourself as a leader and your followers are your sword and shield. First things first, show me what you've got! I wish I could have better looks at everything, but I guess not. Uh, yeah, we're kind of outmatched here. Not bad. Now let's raise the stakes. 
you're now leading a squad with a good balance of troop types. You've got heavily armoured troops in front, or heavy infantry. Always rely on heavy infantry to serve as the backbone of the army, not only to protect weaker allies but to rush down and attack. Your squad also has three archers. These long range troops are not as sturdy but can attack from a distance and avoiding counterattacks. Your turn is up for now. Access the menu and turn to proceed. Hmm, I feel like I'd be better off with not having the mouse here. Now you're ready. Attack me and try to take me down. Ooh yeah, we've got a lot more people now. And they've all got slight differences in stats it looks like. Ooh, but he gets to hit everyone on the front row at once. Huh. Nothing to it. There's a great deal more to learn. But for now you should be able to lead our forces against Centaurus. I mean, he's only been general for 25 years. This should be enough to help us win, right? Tutorials will pop up, you'll be able to access them whenever you want. Aren't you a bit early, Scout? We saw Antares' men celebrating the outlying villages. The rebels have begun raiding the locals. He stooped to this? How far has he fallen since the succession war? Send word to the capital, maybe they can send us a real army. You heard that, right? I did. Zelos, I know what you're thinking. How'd you plan on explaining this to the higher-ups? Don't worry about them. You, me, and just our troops. Once we take down this rebellion, we'll be celebrities! What say you? I'm with you, but I'm calling the shots this time. Fine by me, I've got your back. Good. Looks like they haven't sent out much yet. You should take out these guys there to get some battle experience. You can move your squad next to the enemy soldiers and attack. If you run into trouble, I'm right behind you. Take a break, Zealous. I've got this. Chapter 1, Rebellion. Ready. Looks like there's just two archers there for us to worry about, whereas we can just, well, beat them up. We've got heavy soldiers first, so... Oh, and he's got a little healer potion girl there. For my people, for my homeland. One medic, Affinity Water. Trait learnable, loyal. Can I see what? Hmm. So she has absolutely no armor, barely any weapon strength, barely any strength, but she's got decent magic. Hmm. Manuel. Manuel. Your command. Shuffle though, that's... Hmm. Oh, so we do actually have named little foot soldiers there. Uh-oh. We took some damage in that fighting, but we can heal it back by having support units, such as the medic in your squad. While they can't attack, support units greatly help to keep soldier losses to a minimum. Next we need to capture that town so we can liberate it from the rebels. 
move any squad to the return's front gate and seize. The other army is plotting. Direct my blade. You can probably do it. You've got better range than I do, I think. 15 faction experience. We got some gold and faction experience for our troubles. We'll need gold for a lot of things. Recruiting new troops, hiring mercenaries, buying artifacts, and other others. Faction experience allows us to increase faction rank. As our rank increases, reputation will improve among the people. This yields better shop prices, technologies, attract new recruits, and intimidate enemies. The squad who captures the objectives gets leadership and loyalty experience as well. The Imperial Army has already arrived, much sooner than expected. Wolfgar, I'm trusting you to lead our troops here. If you hold the, rival, the river fortress, we should be safe here. I'll make them regret coming here, don't worry, General. Looks like we made it just in time. Are you ready for this, Sybil? Are you kidding, Jules? I've been waiting ages and ages for a chance to prove my mettle. Come and get it, rebel scum. Your squad has tougher soldiers, so should stay in front. Mine will provide long-range archer attacks from a safe distance. See that hill? That's high ground. Very useful for- especially for archers like me. Wait, I can't tell! Move me onto the hill so I can shoot further than normal. Over there, to the east. I think that's Jules, a fellow Imperial Academy cadet of mine. We should meet up with him and join all our forces together. I must stay strong. I suppose we could have reached there anyhow. How can I help, my lord? Oh dear. Hmm. They can't shoot back because I'm just getting started. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, fireball. Here comes Sybil, ready or not. Uh, you are very aggressive for the healer. I kind of like it. We will always find a way. Although maybe I should have had them talk first. It looks like they have the ability to chat. We can take the river fortress, the path to the main enemy base will be clear. Force give defense bonuses and allows archers to shoot further. That goes for both sides, we can't underestimate those defenders. The battle lies before me. There goes nothing. We should be able to knock you out in one go. Oh yeah, that 4 damage. That's definitely going to be important later. The time to act is now. You should be okay. Okay, everyone's get stats up. Imperial battle arm, um, uh huh? Stay strong, everyone. Okay, it was a guy. My bad. You shouldn't be able to strike back, so let's soften you up.
Oh, free action, sure. Time to end this. They'll notice this one for sure. This should work. Oh, she exploded. You're still alive? Okay then. I do wonder what the heal 3 means though. See that town? To win wars we must secure objectives. Objectives can be towns, mines, stables, or military bases. Towns like this hill, or gold mines, provide gold. Any of our squads can capture objectives. There. That's East Wall Fortress, home base of the enemy. That's a heavily fortified castle, like most home bases. It provides defensive bonuses to soldiers stationed there. Do not underestimate any base defender, even these clowns. There will be times when we're operating out of a home base. When that happens, you must defend it at all costs. So there's a bit of advanced wars to this as well. If enemy reaches our home base, it will force us into a defeat. Are we not getting stat point bonuses for having those bases though? Can I help, my lord? We've secured an iron mine. With the three iron we just gained, we can upgrade our troops to more advanced classes when between chapters. Resources aren't consumed, just allocated, meaning we can change classes without risk at all. Feel free to experiment. That's definitely much better than what VC2 did, isn't it? Okay, so that's what Shuffle does. We can't just help crossing paths, Jules. Looks like we're in this together, huh? Devoa! What an islander to fight by your side in our first mission, but uh, Central Command didn't say you'd be here. Was there some sort of mistake? We decided to improvise. Anyway, glad to have your rangers here among us. With clever planning, your troops can pick, up, uh, pick off enemies without fear of a counterattack. Unless they have their own archers, of course. So you're leading this mission. Wow, I, already, I always knew you'd do great things, Devoa. Oh come on, Jules. You'd say that no matter what I end up doing. Okay, so that's how he's going to be shooting everyone. And we have... Level 2 Archer, Level 2 Bowman, Level 2 Bowman. Okay. Just double checking. So he has a three tile range there. He will always find a way. Here comes Sybil, ready or not. Well met, you're with the Imperial Army? Name's Sybil, Battle Maiden of Viridia. Jules and I were sent up the river to try and outflank the rebels. That's an impressive title, but you wear the garb of a temple priestess. Yeah, so what? Healing's just as important as hurting, isn't it? Uh, of course. We're fortunate to have a priestess among us. 
for my people, for my homeland. Direct my blade. So the thing is that he will be able to shoot back. Stay strong, everyone. I don't feel good about picking that fight. There goes nothing. 421 gold and a little bit more faction experience. Six movements, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that this isn't quite the right screen size for what they expect you to have given the top left corner. We did select normal, so maybe we'll be fine. How can I help, my lord? Sure. Explode their face. I must stay strong. We've really got them on the run now. The, run, the river fortress is ours. Time to take down the local rebel commander at East Wall. Damned Imperial dogs. They really, they are really this ruthless? The rest of you, get out there and stop them. Our cause will be not snuffed out, will not be snuffed out here. Ooh, this. We've got another fight on our hands. Nova, counting on you as the enemy army leader to destroy the army. Hopefully their leaders get the message and lay down their weapons. Direct my blade. This one looks a bit beefier than the others. No mage, but plenty of archers. We will always find a way. I want you to come over here, thanks. Okay, give him a heal. Stay strong, everyone. Let's try doing this like this. If we can take that out and move room, make room for the others to get about. Ah, there's the problem. The battle lies before me. There goes nothing. I shouldn't have let them push forward, should I? Oh, the healer surrendered because there weren't any attackers left, okay.
man. Let's crush him. The time to act is now. Heal yourself and heal that frontliner, please. Time to end this. Here comes Sybil, ready or not. Uh, let me see this again. Okay, so we do actually have a limited number of heals. Started. We will always find a way. Ready. Stay strong, everyone. And you are an archer and um a Wolfgar soldier, I see. So we can't just sit at a distance and keep yeah, pegging you. Time to end this. Uh, just checking. You don't get a range boost there. Good. Can I help, my lord? For my people, for my homeland. Here comes Sybil, ready or not. I must stay strong. Direct my blade. We will always find a way. Okay, that might sting a little bit, but we might be good. Here goes nothing. Your command? Wait, show me. For Viridia! So you do have archers. The battle lies before me. Oh, we have fearless morale then. Direct my blade. This one for sure. I'm just getting started. So there is an actual limit to the amount of healing you can do in this game. The level ups for everyone. Time to act is now. Let's finish it.
Oh, right, we can have someone get the final move, huh? Here comes Sybil, ready or not. Yep, to complete. Turns taken. Oh, we took a little bit longer than they wanted. Two surrenders. We got bounties, stars, rank A. Attack from a hill using Jules's squad and seize all map objectives. Okay. In a keep, East Wall Fortress. Imperial army certainly wasted no time. We've got to escape Centurion's rest. You think I'll just willingly go with you? He has a sword. Both know that the snakes in the capital cannot be trusted. We're much safer here, away from their schemes. And Taros, you're going to get yourself killed. You don't deserve this. I've already given my life. But so too will my men if we do not escape them immediately. We must go soon to Centurion's nest. Rest. Well, they've already started setting up and uh, we can't be sure who the good guys and bad guys are here. Anyhow, an interesting enough game. Might play. I'm not going to let's play it, but I might play more in my own time. We'll see. Until next time, guys. Take care. I'll see you all around.